Yo what's going on guys, Crazy here, welcome back to another Ghost of Tsushima Legends video and today let's go over why you should be playing as a Ronin. Of course, there's a lot of stuff to discuss about it, build ideas, best uses, best types of items on it and techniques, but in this video I want to focus on that and more since I believe that this is one of the best classes in the game, both for the survival and regular missions and even more so for that really annoying nightmare difficulty where you might still have some problems. If you still have those problems this is probably the solution for you right here also this video has been brought to you thanks to instant gaming instant gaming sells games at some of the cheapest prices you can find around so if you also enjoy big gaming discounts i definitely recommend checking their website by using my links in the description box down below so let's begin with a few basics about the ronin class this is mostly a support type of class that can also deal quite a lot of damage you can actually spec it either as a full-on team support you can spec it as a kind of like a really high damage dealer or maybe somewhere in between because it literally has techniques and abilities that fit both of these playstyles which is why this is such a versatile class but in this video i'm kind of going to focus on more of like a support type of class that helps everybody in the team keeps healing up keeps everybody high and fresh and even more so if anybody gets downed it's going to be able to fully resurrect everybody no matter at which point they are on the map but let's begin with the gear right here now of course for the gear there's pretty much some typical options that you get for all of the other classes too like in this case i will still roll with a water katana simply because it's just all around the great you just deal high damage it works against any enemy any stance and it also has the water master perk that increases your damage every time you deal an additional subsequent attack in that chain now previously i've talked about the moon katana with the moon master but that was in the context of a samurai that can use the siphon to to tank through the damage that the enemies might do while you're doing those spins so in that case it makes a ton of sense but for every other class the the water katana is probably going to be the best one for you out there and you don't have to worry about getting damaged or interrupted since you will be doing both of those onto the enemies now this brings us to the ranged weapons which is the one that actually changes everything for this class because this is a unique item that only drops for the ronin and the bomb pack right here is by far the best aoe damage dealer that's also very reliable especially against very large groups of enemies now you could theoretically speaking change this to roll it with a perk that lets it be used by an assassin but personally i think that it makes um, the most amount of sense if you use it on your ronin now there's a couple of options that you have here with the bomb pack you can either go for the regular epic which is what i usually use in the story nightmare missions but if you want to um, go with the legendary version this is something that i would probably more use in a survival mission and the reason for that is because it comes with that bombs also heal allies caught in the blast perk that the legendary has now the reason i'm using the legendary only in the survival mode is because usually there's big packs of enemies usually my teammates are in the middle of it so then it makes a ton of sense for me to both deal huge amounts of damage and also heal them all at the very same time with only one single item meanwhile if i were to be playing a story nightmare mission then i would would probably change to a different legendary which is the ghost weapon tool right here this is um kenji's shared brew that makes a lot more sense from my perspective in that game mode and the reason for that is because usually in this game mode i'm not staying in the back but rather i'm staying right there by the side of my teammate and in that case i might want to use the kenji's shared brew with the healing gourd that also heals my nearby ally when i'm using it so in this case it makes a ton more sense and i'm also able to use it with the strong brew 50% healing increase and another perk that basically doubles my healing from 25 to 50 with only the brew right here that um, is absolutely amazing for that mode so this is what my recommendation for you guys is if you're running a story mission it makes more sense to run with the legendary gourd meanwhile if you're running a survival mission it makes more sense to run with the legendary forbidden medicine since your enemies are going to be all clamped together and your teammates are going to be right next to them now for the charm of course it goes without saying that you're going to want to use the class specific pronoun charm now the reason you're seeing me rolling with the 
25 health increase instead of something like the spirit animal is because in the nightmare missions in the nightmare story missions i much more prefer to use the healing incense compared to the spirit animal and rolling it with a uh, spirit healing for example and the reason for that is because while the healing incense just has a much lower cooldown it's more reliable because i just place it on the ground it doesn't run anywhere it just stays there and it heals me meanwhile the spirit animal could die it could run away it could chase enemies it is useful in survival but not in the story missions that i'm doing so again if you want to run for example story missions on nightmare you will want to go with the incense if instead you're running something like a survival mission in that case you will want to run with the spirit animal and in that case you will want to roll with a healing spirit perk that heals everybody in a radius around that creature on top of that i've also rolled this uh, this item right here with a healing incense radius by 80 percent so that almost doubles my my radius on the incense which is extremely valuable especially in that nightmare difficulty so um, this is the option right here also on the second one I would roll with something like an ability cooldown reduction in my case it's really low so I have to reroll again but if you get somewhere between 8 to 10 percent that is going to be an amazing roll right there now for the ghost weapons is where like the Ronin shines because it's one of the few classes in the game that can have a damage bonus increase by 50 percent from one of the that buffs the damage of ghost weapons which is why literally any ghost weapon can work really amazingly on this character so I'm gonna talk about that perk in just a little bit but here you can roll with literally anything personally I think that the sticky bomb is just the better all around for the AoE CC and the damage so that is why I roll with it in this case also with the fired up perk since it sets enemies on fire so between this and the bomb pack I'm constantly setting up bombs and everything dies so fast and so easily even on the highest difficulties but you can also make something like a let's just say one of these kunais to work really well since you can buff its damage by 50% and even like something like a dirt throw can work really amazingly since it lets you debuff the enemy take down their defenses momentarily and it's it's just like one of the few classes that can work so well with literally any ghost weapon right here now for the last ghost weapons again anything can work if you want to play more damage oriented you might want to go with one of the smoke bombs set it down stay inside of it and just continue to do critical strikes and assassinations from that smoke bomb meanwhile if you want to play more as a support you will want to use something like the gourd or even Kenji's shared brew so that you can heal both yourself and any nearby ally that might be next to you and this is where the strong brew here comes into effect because it increases my healing by 50% which is absolutely amazing on any difficulty this is why I basically coupled it with this technique point right here the quick regen that further increases my healing and regen by another 50% so this means that I'm basically doing double the healing with the gourd alone so instead of only 25 I'm doing 50 which is basically half of everybody's HP and this basically is going to be my technique distribution also again um, either the incense can work on a story mission either the spirit animal with the spirit healing from that point on I of course went with the ronin unleashed so that all of my abilities have reduced cooldown but um, again you can roll with something that gives you like 50% damage to ghost weapons and do a lot of damage with the bombs and the kunais from that point on I went with a healing increase by 50% since again it is the best right here and finally the soothing breath which is going to make your ultimate to also heal over time everybody for eight whole seconds to the point that you might even want to use this even if you don't have anybody downed and you just want to get everybody back to full HP especially if you want to complete some of those nightmare challenges that require your party to not get downed at all so in that case you will want to roll with a ronin that has the breath of izanami with the soothing breath but this is it with the build right here of course it is again one of my favorite class both in terms of how it looks but also its functionality and it probably became my main matchmaking with the randoms kind of class because this means that i don't take any chances it means that i can keep everybody alive and it means that i have have way more many chances to survive and to complete that particular content but let me know down below what is your current build for the ronin what level you are how much you progress with it and also if you run with a similar build like mine or if you run with a different style of build in the meantime thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one